Blessings, January 11th, 2009. <laughs> Vilified. The shit that I've heard, holy motherfuck. You think Beck was deep, you thought he was hard. Yeah, he is. But this shit, the new shit, will rip your goddamn throat up. Let me fucking tell you. The shit I've heard, it, it's. It's real violent, it's real dark, it's actually some of the harsh shit I've actually ever heard him actually do. Um, all I can say is you guys have no idea what's in fuck this world for the fuckers. Mass amount of incorporation went into this album. I tried to be really severe. I got 111 and 357 ways to send a fucking piece of vomit like you to the grave. For real, I'm not a slap by guilt because I feel none. It's such a goddamn trap that you can only die once. My darkness will scare you to death and I will show you what you made. Call me bad karma from the rank of which you create. Every day I wish you pain and strongly hope that you break. I really tried to touch new plateaus and show people that, you know, I. I've been like this before I started in the even out. You know, I've been a controversial dude, I've been real, I've been evil, I've been, I've been truthful. And that's what the scariest thing of all in the world is, is reality. Um, I was expecting the same message that Beck continues to um, deliver of the trials that he has to deal with every day, the things that get on everyone's nerves, and he generally speaks a lot of the um, things that run in my head, in the back of my head, like killing motherfuckers that cut me off. These are elements of reality. Reality is probably the ultimate fear ever. And I've been about all that shit. Vilify is something that is to be reckoned with. This is, you know, a huge fuck you to everything I cannot stand. You know what I mean? Of course, people might be hearing it one sided and when they check it out, they'll be like, well, he, he hates God. He hates religion. It goes way beyond that, you know? Of course, I have my own very huge problems and um, altercations with religion and God. But that's not what even I'm touching halfway on, dude. I'm, I'm going about every motherfucker I cannot stand and who has put me in holes and just left me for dead. You know, I don't name drop, dude. If you know who you are, you know who you are. If you fit the fucking boot, you're it, bitch. Because that's what I'm about. And I never drop names in my songs because it's not just about that one person. If people hear that and feel guilty, like, oh man, were you taking shots at me? Well, yeah, I guess I was. If you feel guilty, if that boot fits pretty damn well, I guess it's you. And man, this shit was like, this is real new to me. I'm like, I'm used to hearing like, the other rap artists is like 50 Cent talking about money, cars, clothes, and you know, girls with thongs on and shit, you know. But when I hear this shit, this guy, you know, he's talking about himself, he's talking about what's real. You know, ain't no bullshit about what other teenagers and other other little kids want to hear, you know. This is all, it's all real shit. No, I, I had all the influence over them kids. I showed them the way back to Bone Wolf was really different. Bone Wolf was very dark, very horror. I mean, that to that's the shit that I actually like. You know, that the, the, the harsh shit, that violent shit, that from the comic book shit. It was really different. It was in your face. It really was. It was way different than the previous shit. I've been listening to the Lone Wolf album, and there's there's one song that I like on there. It's called Shit Talkers. Um, it mainly talks about how a lot of people talk shit, so it all says in the title. Um, I'm still analyzing the CD a little more because I, I just I, I recently just got the CD, so um, but I'm liking it a lot. The Lone Wolf. But Bill Vice stands out. It's got so much of a mixture, although uh, with the previous albums it's mostly pertained to hip-hop, this one seems to be more along the lines of going into vulgar, violent, 
offensive material. I am I'm like a mirror to this. The new shit, it's gonna be really, really controversial on a lot of different levels. It's gonna hit everybody at once. Any real invention, you know, any invention that's gonna listen to it for the previous shit will appreciate it. I mean, when they hear the new shit, they're gonna be like, he hit another level of mind state. He, he's gonna open a lot more minds, and if minds are even open to the real shit, they'll be more informative about all of the other shit that's gonna be in this shit. Vilify is, um, it's very dark, very real, very heavy, very. Truthful in my eyes. Of course, not everybody's gonna agree with everything, or they might, which is awesome if they don't. That's cool. But you know, it's like as long as you pick up that album and you spit it in your deck, really, that's what matters most to me. Whether you love it or hate it in the end, and it's at the last track of the album, and you know, like, and this. What matters most is you check it out. I say, fuck it all. Raise your bitch with mine in the air because we're living in despair. Say it with me, say it now. Fuck it all. Say it with me, say it loud. Fuck it all. The entire world shall fall. I say, fuck it all.